All right, so um, I have one project that needs to get done today, although there's a million projects I have to do. This one is kind of urgent because I have one of my ancient radiators is leaking, and it's not actually leaking from the cast iron radiator. They all seem to be in pretty good shape. It's this uh, connection here, this particular one. Um, I know that it was leaking when um, Dale and crew came to fix it, uh, but they did get it to, to uh, stop leaking, but it's leaking again. And the reason is obvious that it's got a plastic, it's got a plastic uh, nut on here, and the uh, strain of this pipe turning is pulling on this, uh, what do you call, L joint, and it's... I got water coming out of the edge over here so that's got to stop uh, I got all kinds of stuff to try and fix that I'm hoping I have the right stuff this is half inch that's half inch I hope the threads are gonna match um, but right now I, I want to undo this and I know the first thing that's gonna happen is water everywhere but I turned the uh, this side off yesterday so there shouldn't be any pressure in it except residual. Um, so I have this tray to catch whatever water comes out here. And I have a bucket that I'm planning on sticking a hose in if the water's coming out of there. Um, and basically I'm going to stick my thumb in there. Keep it until it, uh, I get the new um, joint on. Um, which I've already put the Teflon on so I don't have to mess with that. Hopefully this happens quickly and easily. Now those are uh, words I use a lot. and never pans out quite that way. So, wish me luck. So, what I did end up getting, everything I got is uh, shark bite. Um, it, um, um, Everybody says if you talk to plumbers, they hate these things. Uh, I'm assuming it's because they, they don't last for, uh, forever. They have, but they do do the trick. And as a matter of fact, that's what's used over here, shark bite. And I know that that was put in by uh, the guy who installed the system. I was really surprised to see all the plastic. Uh, considering how warm this thing gets, it can get up to 180 degrees. I got uh, some packs that is rated at 180 where it is where are you where are you 180 degrees 100 psi so i should be good so i'm going to do this all very quickly um, one thing i am going to do i do have a cap and i do have the uh, the quick removers to take that back off but what I want to do I want to put this on here I'm gonna have a short piece of hex going that way and you're gonna make a 90 degree turn so um, it should it should be it should be easy I have everything I possibly need of course that's famous last words so um, I think I'm going to put a piece of PEX into this with a cap on it so I can remove this quickly and put this on and it will be automatically capped and uh, work from there. Let's see what I can do. Hey neighbors, I'm going to go around and see if anybody wants to be on YouTube introducing their businesses and uh, we'll let you know who else here. So what are you here selling today? Sensi. Sensi? I've never heard of Sensi. Hey guys, it's Val. Bree is here. She's covering the booth for me while I'm walking around. I'm going to say hi to a few people and see if they want to be on YouTube. But we got a few things here. And uh, yeah, we got our generator over there. So we're able to light up some stuff here and uh, giving away some samples so far. Yep. So 
it. What's the name of my business? Basically Fierce for Fragrance. That's right. I have to point to my hat. <laughs> <laughs> but okay guys I'm gonna walk around while she covers the booth and see who wants to be on Sensi I mean be on YouTube I'm losing it guys losing it see you soon hello I'm Rose Crafty Creations on Facebook this is my setup here today at Hidden Treasures I'm selling a lot of polymer clay earrings I make roach clips yes I make necklaces I make bracelets I wire wrap rings, all the above. You can check out my stuff on Facebook and Instagram at Rose Crafted Creations. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Hey. What am I supposed to say? Hi, how's it going, everyone? Uh, we are a uh, local company. <laughs> we don't really have a name or anything like that. Uh, this is our first time doing this. Yeah. So. So. What do you make? I make Sugar scrubs with essential oils. I love sugar scrubs. Yeah, and then I have some bean jewelry. It's dried beans dipped in resin. Awesome. And I got necklaces for that. Um, some coasters that my dad actually made for, from a tree that's over 200 years old. Perfect. And some vintage collages. Oh, awesome. Yeah. And and then we also got tie dye right there for more vintage. Okay. Do you do make the tie dye? We do. Yes. There's reverse tie dye and then regular tie dye. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, those are pretty nice. Yeah. Yeah. My name's Holly, and I own Simply Make Cakes and Bakes. I make basically anything under the sun: wedding cakes, cupcakes, cookies, whoopie pies are the best. Um, yeah, that's whoopie basically pie. what I do. Is this a whoopie pie? Yes, it yeah, is. And then there's guys. a box of six. Oh, right there. Oh. <laughs> this booth would get me in trouble. <laughs> it mostly does. A lot of diets get broken here. So. Hello, I'm Art uh, with the Workshop Treasures and I uh, do a lot of repurposing with different items, crates, shutters, uh, make smaller items, wine glass holders, re refinish tables, whatever I can come across. To I, I absolutely love, this is one of my favorite pieces that you've done, right here, it is a, sh two shutters? Yep. Two shutters yep. put together with some little shelves put yep. on it with some uh, chain. Yep. Absolutely gorgeous. And you made that yourself. Yes, I did. Yep. And it's just all repurposed all, stuff. Yep. Absolutely gorgeous. And these are some crates, crates that you've yep. done. Which I added a shelf and then put some feet, some legs on it. And now it's a nightstand or an end table or whatever you want it. Yeah, it's gorgeous. And was this an ironing board? Yep, the old wooden ironing board. Same, nice. same idea, shelves. Chains. Nice, very yep. nice. Yeah, I like the little bench there too. Yep, and little kids bench, and I like I said, these are old shutters that I had that were were um, repurposed into shelves. Uh, I'm selling a whole bunch of tools primarily, but I have all sorts of other things that I find that I think are interesting. And uh, are you Magic Mike? No, I'm, oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> Magic Mile, I'm sorry. Magic Mile. No, uh, no my name is Durwood, but they call me Woody. Woody, hi so. Woody, nice to meet you. All right. And he's got all kinds of tools here. Oh, I remember these rulers. My dad had one. Yeah. 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 He's got all kinds of stuff here. He's got stuff over. This is your table too. Yes. Yep. Got all kinds of stuff over here, okay. guys. Do you want me to be in? Yeah. Hi, my name's Kathy. I have a Facebook page called Kathy's Creations. I make pillowcases out of both cotton and flannel. I have a large selection. I do custom pillowcases to order too, and I do reading pillows. Some of them come with just a pillow. Some of them come with a book. Some of them come with a book and an animal. And these are absolutely gorgeous, guys. I will tell you, 
they have little handles on them here so they could be easily carried and if you drop them easily picked up and I'm you, you used to be a teacher right I used to be a teacher so what better way to get a child to read than to give them a special pillow with a book in it I mean come on that's amazing and especially like if you have a book with a little buddy there for them to see the oh, look the book goes with the buddy and that, a kid is going to love that absolutely love that guys these are amazing gifts for children for my mother-in-law who is 87 years old I'm gonna be getting her one of these tomorrow because um, she's always looking for a pillow to go put behind her back when she sits down so you do wonderful work Kathy I absolutely love it and uh, I might be coming back for this one for myself guys <laughs> it's upside down but it's Winnie the Pooh <laughs> there we go so I might be coming back for that one just to put in my office to go with my Winnie the Pooh stuff. My name is Steven Tower. I'll do a little bit of refurbishing down here at Hidden Treasures Flea Market. Here for the day setting up. Come down and see us. <laughs> there we go. Short and sweet. This is some of the stuff that they do. I absolutely love what they do. And it's just repurposed stuff, right? Repurposed, making planners, handmade stuff, salvage lumber. These things, I want to get a couple of these. My husband's going to kill me when he hears this. I want to get a couple of these and put them right out front of the porch. And uh, he's got a couple of them here. And uh, yeah, those would be beautiful. I like these with the bottles on them that you can put some plants in. Absolutely gorgeous. The little shutter thing here. Absolutely gorgeous. The little sign that says welcome. Absolutely gorgeous everything here. That so this is how not to, re to replay a uh, uh, radiator in your house. Everything that could go wrong went wrong. Uh, probably my biggest uh, mistake was doing it by myself because I ended up having to do a lot of it with one hand. And I was kind of hoping that the pressure was off when I turned it off from this side, but it wasn't. It was still full, fully pressurized. Uh, not a lot of pressure. I think we only had like 40 pounds coming into the house because we have our own pump. Um, but I got it on. I did what I wanted to do. But boy, I, did I make a mess. The floor is completely soaked. I've uh, spent the last 20 minutes uh, with my uh, carpet cleaner just sucking up water out of the carpet. I uh, had to move this. It's been wet. This is wet. Everything's wet. Uh, threw a whole bunch of stuff out the window. And I broke the window doing that. Uh, so that was fun. So... Cautionary tale. Um, still only cost me about $30 to repair this whole thing. Uh, it's on. It's heating up. Not that we need the heat right now. It's not leaking. Which is all I wanted. But um, what a mess I made. <sighs> so there you go. Howdy ho, neighbors. We're home. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo, yo. What is it? You're making fun of my hat? Uh huh. I had to put it backwards when I was starting to pack stuff up because the bill was in my way. Uh huh. So, anyway, it was a good day. We had fun. You guys will get to see most of the people that were outside. I didn't go inside and uh, get everybody but uh yeah it was a lot of fun we had a good time sold some things um booking a few parties some people want to come over and check out excuse me check out the showroom and do some um smelling of the waxes <laughs> this guy i walked up to this guy and i said i'm not trying to tell you that you smell but here's a sample for your truck. And he went, I do smell. <laughs> so everybody was fun. I mean, yes, I was very nervous about going. Not because I, 
I know how to handle these things. I've done plenty of them. I know how to be around people, strange people and whatnot. I've been around, you know. Been around me for 15 years. Well, not strange that way. But <laughs> yes. You mean stranger. Yes. So, you know, I, I, I know how to do all of that. But I've been so, for lack of a better word, agoraphobic for so long. Um, with COVID, blah, blah, blah. So I haven't really done anything. And with doing something like this, just, you know, out of the blue, yes, I had my anxiety medicine with me. I took two in the morning, and I did take one this afternoon. No, you're not getting my chicken. <laughs> but, no. but, Mommy. I know you missed me. I missed you, too, very much. But you're not getting my chicken. <laughs> we'll even push it further away. So anyway, um, it was a very big step considering it was an all-day event, and I think I handled it very well. I even, <laughs> we didn't get this on, on tape, be, I mean on camera, because um, there was customers at the booth, and Brie was taking care of the customers, and I was coming out of the store, and, and the DJ, they had a DJ there, he was playing Time Warp. Oh. And of course, I had to stop and do the time warp. <laughs> oh, that's a mistake. That's and of an course, when I did the happen. jump to the left, I was like, ooh, I'm not going to do the second half. <laughs> so I did the, you know, put your knees in tight and <clears throat> blah, let blah, your pelvic slide, you know, so all of that stuff. I did everything. And then after the first verse, I went back to my booth. <laughs> Anybody join you, or were you by yourself? Um, I was by myself. People were watching. I'm like, come on, come on. And uh, when Tara videotaped, she, she's the owner of the place, and she's the one who put this on. When she was videotaping, she went around and videotaped all the booths. And she's like, hey, we're here at the, the uh, Hidden Treasures Flea Market. And everybody's like, yeah, hi, you know. And I'm like, yeah, we're here. You know, she's I like your attitude. <laughs> So, it was a lot of fun. I missed my baby, though, and she missed me. Mm -hmm. huh? Yes. She sat there at the window the whole time. Did you sit by her at all? No. Why? I was swimming in the uh, back room. Oh, that's room. right. You were swimming today. Daddy went swimming without us. <laughs> so, but it was fun. Um, lots of nice people. Um, some people, like I said, are going to be coming here. I think a couple of people are going to be scheduling parties. Um, yeah, I think it was a lot. It was, yeah. Cool. And it's at once a, one week and a month up until October. So um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be going back. Okay. So anyway, anything you want to add? Got nothing. Nothing? Nothing. Nothing. nothing, nothing. So, anywho, that's about it for me, too. I'm going to be heading upstairs. I got out of the truck and hurt my foot. Didn't hurt myself all day long. Get out of the truck, I hurt my foot. So, with that being said, I'm going to say goodnight. Hugs, kisses, 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 kisses. I love you all, and uh, we'll do some more filming tomorrow. Okie dokie. Bye. Bye.